All right, good morning, everybody. You might see Brody run around in the background. Um, it is Saturday morning. I believe it's around 6.45. And we're on our morning walk to this local park that's nearby. And I love starting my day off with a walk. I don't always do it. Actually, the past couple days I haven't done it because I just haven't been feeling that good in the morning. Um, waking up and having a lot of neck pain because of my old pillow that I used to have but I went and got a new pillow uh, two days ago I think and uh, it has been so much better <laughs> and I also know I look absolutely fantastic right now but this is just Brody I don't want him eating something um, but this is just what I wear when I go on a walk because uh, I found that in the morning because the sun is so low having this visor really helps instead of just sunglasses sunglasses don't really do anything because of the angle of the sun um, but yeah today I'm going to take you through a little bit into my work day and I am planning on doing something actually slightly different than what I typically do so I hope you don't mind that it's not like a typical work with me day in my life just because I don't know I I had this planned on what I wanted to do and basically what I'm gonna do is after this I'm gonna go to maybe Jamba Juice or something to try to get something to drink or eat uh, and then I'm gonna go over to my local library now uh, my the city over from me recently opened up a library and I haven't been there yet, but uh, I have been hearing that if you do work in an area that you don't typically work in, so like I always work in my apartment all the time, and I've heard that if you uh, work somewhere else then you kind of get more creativity coming in. So I'm gonna give that a try because I have so much that I wanna plan out for the next few months and I'm gonna to try to get the next probably three months all planned out with content, video ideas, organizing the candle business course that I'm gonna create. And I just have a lot going on. And if I don't get this organized now, then I feel like I'm never gonna do it or it's gonna be not as planned out and not as organized, go figure. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna continue walking around with Brody this morning. And let's see if you can see him, there he is. Um, so he loves the park, being able to run around and I have his tennis ball and he has no idea. So we're gonna play ball, he's gonna be super excited. And then yeah, I'll just show you the rest of the day. Okay, so <laughs> I don't even know why I grabbed this. I walked into Starbucks thinking, okay, maybe I'll get a sandwich, maybe I'll get a wrap. They didn't have the kind of wrap I wanted. I saw a little sign that said so. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just get one of these little like snack box things. This was $6, <laughs> it's crazy. And then I didn't even read what it was. So this is sharp cheddar cheese, brie cheese, gouda cheese. I've never had brie cheese and I don't know if I've had Gouda cheese. I'll try it. I mean, what's the harm in trying it? So I will give that a try, but it's really just to have a little something while I am at the library getting work done. So let's go ahead and head over there right now. So I pulled up to the library and there were actually a lot of people waiting outside, but honestly, the inside was so peaceful. There were so many spots available. It was right after they opened and I guess they host these little summer classes for parents and kids to do in this certain room and luckily that room was across the way although there were still parents and kids kind of looking around at the kids section with all the books and they also have a lot of little computer sections but it was really cute and I originally had actually went to a, de a different location but there actually was somebody who decided to come sit at the table right next to me. And I just felt like I didn't wanna be recording myself when there was somebody right next to me and I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable once they noticed that. So I found this other location right over here and honestly, 
I loved it. It was so nice to be able to get work done. And honestly, what I did during this three and a half hours that I was here was I actually organized my calendar on Notion. Now, Notion is something that I just recently found out about. So it's pretty cool. I don't know all the details on it yet, but essentially it's like an online planner. And I know in the past I've told all of you so many different ways of how I plan and I just recently got another planner, but this is digital and I seem to really like things that are digital, especially when I can type out on my laptop like this. It just my ideas flow out so fast in my head that I just need to get it out. So I actually have a bunch of different journal note sections on there that are organized by category. So I went through and I wrote down a bunch of different real ideas, TikTok ideas, YouTube video ideas, um, different ideas for marketing, different ideas for the candle business course. And I actually organized that all the way through all the different modules that I want to do. And I'm just trying to get organized. I realized that a lot of my anxiety and a lot of the procrastination towards not wanting to post online, not wanting to do social media, and even getting to the point where I just wanted to delete it altogether. I was just so anxious and so frustrated because I'm like, I don't know what to post. I don't know when to post. And it was very frustrating for me. So being able to take the time to organize it and this online um, planner notion that I'm using, I can use it on my laptop as well as on my phone. So anytime that I have an idea, I'm trying to train myself to not just pull up the notes app on my phone and actually go into the notion app and organize my thoughts. But anyways, I'm hoping that once I get more familiar with this program and how I organize things, I can actually share it with all of you how I organize my calendar as a small business owner and I swear I'm two and a half years in and I'm still learning these things so don't feel bad if you are like I have no idea how to organize my business life and my personal life and all these things combined together so don't feel bad we're all learning um, but I just stayed here for about three and a half hours I actually had plans to do a little bit more this day however the amount of work that I did within that time of staring at a screen, I just ended up getting really tired later. So I think the next clip is actually me uh, after a nap. So after this, I did go home or actually I stopped by the store. I grabbed some ingredients for lunch. I ate lunch and then I took a nap because I just was very exhausted. And um, I had been working about... Uh, probably I would say morning to night for about a week straight prior to this and my my ideas and and my um, motivation and my energy levels have been very very high lately and I think I just kind of have been crashing a little bit so even today while I'm recording and editing this I've been really trying to take it easy and I actually have been feeling much better today and I'll probably try to take it easy again tomorrow as well but I am trying to get work done earlier in the day and then taking it easy later on at night um, but yeah I was just feeling really just not good headache and just overall uh, just a little lightheaded and just overall not very good but then I took the nap and I started feeling a lot better but um, the library was actually very close to closing because on Saturdays Apparently they're only open for four hours, so I was there for three and a half hours. And so I ended up packing up and leaving um, shortly before they closed, and then I headed home. All right, so fast forward to whatever time it is. I honestly don't remember where I left off. I don't know if I came on here and told you that I ate lunch or that I even got home. Um, but basically I ate my lunch. I finished up a little bit of the work that um, I didn't finish at the library and um, then I took a 45 minute nap. I was just feeling like I needed to give my brain a refresh before I kept working. Um, sometimes I feel that fatigue or kind of that, you know, like I'm tired and I just need kind of that reset and I did 
took out my braids um, and now I am in front of my little photography setup. So I will flip this around to show you what I am working with right now. So this is my setup right now and as you can see I placed this table right here and then I put my replica surfaces boards down and I'm probably gonna have to move it around a little bit. I do sometimes like when the light's coming in like that but it just depends on what it looks like on um, the camera. But I am going to be doing a bundle release of all three of these candles. So it's going to be available for a cheaper cost to get all of these together because these are all kind of beachy scents and I'm going to make it like a California inspired bundle and see how it does and also maybe even bring it to the market and see how it does. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you kind of the process of me going through and uh, taking photos of this. So this is pretty much all that I do. I have my camera right here. So this is a Canon M50 and then I have a 50 millimeter lens and the Canon M50 is cropped. So this is actually, I believe a little bit closer than 50 millimeters, but I just essentially adjust the ISO, adjust the f-stop and adjust the shutter speed until I get what I like on here. So let me see. I don't know if you can, can kind of see that a little bit. Um, I kind of like having the light come in like that. I think it looks really pretty. But I did want to record a reel for the launch. So when I launch this, I want to have a reel and I kind of want to light all the candles and I, and I kind of want to do a little video like that. So Maybe I'll figure out a way right now to light all of the candles and see what that looks like. So I just filmed the content that I'm going to be using to make a reel for this new California bundle pack that I am releasing on my website. My thought is that I want to find kind of a beachy or I don't know, California inspired audio. I don't know if I'll be able to find that. I'll try my best. I'm going to be searching for it. I swear this summer is bringing in all the bugs into the house. Um, but I'm thinking about maybe putting together uh, a pan over of it and then do a little snippet, snippet, snippet of each one lit and put some words on it like, are you leaving California or do you have a friend leaving California and you want to take some with you? Something like that. So I'm going to play around with it and see how that goes. Um, it is most likely 5 or 5.30 right now. Um, and the only other thing that I need to get done tonight is make some wax melts and that's about it. So I'll probably show you guys that a little bit while I'm making those. And then more than likely this little vlog is going to be done, but let's go through the rest of the night. Okay. So I have this all set up in my candle studio and you can see me as I'm going to make some wax melts. I'm really only going to make one scent right now probably on camera, maybe just for tonight. I don't know. I might pour another one, but I really just need to make Vacation Island. That's all I need to make. Um, and I don't even think that I'm gonna need to wear my respirator or anything. I was going to, but it's not gonna be that intense for that long. Um, so that, that scent doesn't bother me as much as the other ones because it's a fruity scent, but also I'm just gonna be pouring one. So not that big of a deal. And I gotta say, when I got this all set up, I'm like, gosh, I, I have to do like a make candles with me or make wax melts with me or something on Instagram Live. I, I say that and then I never do it. But when I had this all set up and if I change the, um, the format to be vertical, then I don't see why not. Like you can kind of hang out with me in here and everything and, um, you know, talk and answer questions and you know I don't know I think it'd be fun um, and again I'd probably have to not wear a respirator because 
then I would look really silly. <laughs> so um, I also had an idea because I have other real ideas that I want to do, so different content ideas. So uh, after this, I'm actually going to flip this back vertical and I'm probably going to take a couple videos of me um, making candles and have that for real. So what I've been realizing is that the more that I do and the more that I film what I'm doing, the more I can use and repurpose that content to make more posts on social media. So um, that is definitely the goal after this one. And whenever I'm filming YouTube videos, I try my best to also think about what else can I film during that time to make the most out of my time. So uh, let me grab this. So this is the little, um, the little cups, silicone cups that I use. And I'm just going to grab Vacation Island, which is the Jamaican Me Crazy scent. And then I have the little gram scale right here. And then for nine of the wax melts, I believe it's 90 grams. So I'm just going to measure this out real fast and get this all good to go. I already have my Digiboil going. I just checked the temperature. It's at 195, which is perfect uh, because as you may or may not know, the, um, the laser thermometer that I use, this one right here, it's always off a little bit. So it always says it's a little bit hotter than what it is. So that means that it's more of like high 180s, which is good. So I'm going to take my heat gun and heat this up. I swear making wax melts is the easiest thing. If you are a candle maker and you are nervous about making wax melts, highly recommend it. I've had people tell me that they're nervous. It's a million times easier than making candles. It is so easy. Um, yeah, I, I love making wax melts. As I've said, if I could only make wax melts, I would because they are so easy. All right, I angled that down so you could see a little bit more. We'll just go ahead and pour these into the clamshell molds and cross my fingers that I don't over pour because that is the only thing about wax melts that I absolutely hate is over pouring them and then it's very hard to clean up. So I totally almost didn't end today's vlog. So I wanted to hop on here, have a conclusion to today's video. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit behind the scenes into a work day and kind of how I go about doing everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Erica Marie Morris. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.